In this video, you're gonna learn how to use your Japanese tanfa for self-defense. You'll learn basic strikes and blocks, and you're gonna warm up with the spin. Grab your tanfa and follow me. You're gonna hold one in each hand so that the finger and the thumb, the first finger and thumb, are at the very end where the big circle is. That keeps it from coming out of your hand. It's going to slide through your hand or spin through your hand on most of the strikes. The first strike is going to come out and around in front of your body. This is also going to be your warm up. You have to get a feel for this tonfa. You have to feel what it's like sliding through your hand. Now this is also the same as what the police call a side handle baton or PR24. That's where I learned how to do it the first time when I was a military policeman in the Marine Corps. I had used Japanese tanfa, but never for self-defense application. As a military policeman, I used my tanfa. I never had to hit anybody with it because I could command them with my voice. That's what you learn in martial arts too. But I did use it for a lot of come alongs. There's a difference between pain and injury. Learn how to use pain for self-defense without injuring somebody, that's a very high level. The highest level, don't be there. This is your first motion. So you're spinning it out, comes in, your second motion is coming up. So you're gonna bring it out and then bring it up. Do both hands, one, two, Now the third one is going to come straight across your body. As it comes out, it's spinning. Spin it similar to a pair of nunchucks. Bring it here, bring it back, and bring it up. Put it away in the other hand and up. Put it away. One, two, three. Now let's talk about a few easier strikes. You're gonna hold it now very firmly and you're gonna punch straight forward. Now the nice thing about this is that all that energy that you generate from striking is concentrated right there in the tip. So wherever that hits does the maximum amount of damage. Remember the basic rule of martial arts, hard to soft, soft to hard. That means my soft palm smack you in your hard head, my tight, hard punch, big knuckles, <laughs> right into your soft solar plexus. Same thing with that tip. You're aiming for solar plexus, throat if it's self-defense, groin, put them on the ground faster. So you're striking and striking. Getting a nice stance on this one. Then you can go three different levels. You can go up to the face, into the body, down into the groin. Next strike, you're gonna do that first spin, but you're not going all the way through. You're going to go out so that the long part of the tonfa is facing your opponent, creating more distance. And then you bring it back in. Strike here, pull it in, spin it, strike out. Bring it in. So you're gonna go one, two. This is how you practice. One, two. Now, those are just some basic strikes. You'll need practice with those. I'm gonna finish here with the blocks. These aren't all the strikes and these are not by far all the blocks, but this is a good starting point. This is gonna get you where you need to be. Start with your feet again in that neutral stance and you're going to pull this one up over your head like a traditional martial arts high block. Now, here's the biggest difference. There's a stick on my arm and so whatever you're hitting me with is gonna hit the wood. Or if you have metal, hit the metal. It's gonna hit the stick and not my bones and my muscles. If it's a knife, you slice through that, I'm in a little bit of trouble. If it's here and you hit that, you're gonna see there's some nicks on there. Guess what that's from? Practicing the high block. 
against a weapon. Up, up. Now what's ideal is that whatever hand is holding the weapon, that's what you're hitting. If you can break that bone when they hold that hand, watch out, because the knife's gonna come flying at you. But block up and block up. The second one comes straight through the middle. Think of a shield, shield across, shield across. You can also hit with this part when you bring that back. Shield across, shield across. And the last one, starting from your shoulder, shielding straight down, straight down. Again, that's what you're using the block with. So we have up, up, middle, middle, down. Notice that I cross to get maximum power. I want you to cross with me. Cross, block up, cross, block up, pull, block middle, pull. Both hands come up, one hand comes in, makes everything move faster, chamber, strike down, chamber, down, that's blocking whatever they're trying to hit you in the body with. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's review. You have this strike and up, both sides, and then the second one is all the way across and up, all the way across and up, and then we went into striking straight in, and then three different levels, hitting with this tip here so that all that power is concentrated there. You wanna get really strong, get on the ground, do some push-ups. I would, but the last time I did them, it started to crack, and I don't have another pair. I don't wanna break these in the middle of this video. Maybe I'll break them and get another pair for the next video. The last strike, swing it, create more distance between you, and smack it right there in the solar plexus, put them on the floor, bring it back in, push it out, pull it in, out and in is how I want you to practice. And finally, upper blocks, middle blocks, lower blocks. How many should you do? You should keep going until your arms are so sore, there's no way you could do any more, and then do some more. And then get to the point where it's ridiculous, and then do some more. And then get to the part where you start to think, this isn't right, this hurts too much, and then do some more. You'll eventually get rid of that soreness, replace it with lots of strength and power, and you'll be able to truly defend yourself with your tonfa. Let me know in the comment section below what was useful in this video, what you didn't like, or what I could do differently, and I'll see you on the next video.